wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded Heroes report again today. The Miz is going to be appearing tonight on Conan, uh, 11 o'clock. Please make a note of it. And regarding Chris Hero, which I mentioned a long time ago, coming to WWE down in uh, developmental, officials wanted to sign him a few months back when they uh, you know, signed his partner, uh, Claudio Castanoli, to FCW, but Hero was going through some physical screening process and it's believed that either WWE found something they wanted to take care of, uh, of you know, in time on uh, double checking to make sure he's fit to uh, be signed. Or they just kind of stalled in contract no negotiations. Uh, Hero hasn't gone uh, back to work for Noah or uh, Ring of Honor yet, so it's possibly he's going to be brought up to FCW soon. There might have been a problem. Don't know for, fact, for a fact on it. Uh, happy birthday to former NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion Gerald Clark. 36 years old, Jimmy Ray, 29, former WWF manager, doctor of style, Slick, 54 years old, former WWF and Stampede wrestler, Gama Singh, uh, 57 years old, and current WWE announcer, Michael Cole, 43, that acts like he's 10. Jim Ross, who was down at FCW evaluating talent last week, was asked by a fan when we'll see uh, Tough Enough winner Andy, you know, debut in WWE, he says, I... Don't see it being imminent. Lots of work to do, he says. TNA was going to be releasing the 2011 Bound for Glory DVD on January 17th next year. Ric Flair made sure, uh, or made sure, made a uh, rare appearance TNA live event uh, in uh, Plymouth, uh, Massachusetts. Looks like on January uh, 21st. He's going well. He's going to be making an appearance. Hold, may not hold your breath on it, but uh, he might be there. TNA star Rob Terry and Arnequis uh, competed in an OVW house show in New Albany, Indiana this week. And TV champion uh, Robbie E. married his girlfriend Tara, not the knockout, this past Saturday in New Jersey. And TNA president Dixie Carter wrote uh, the following on Twitter about 2012, what to look forward to. She says, forecasting 2012 will be a great year of growth for TNA. Multiple ongoing projects that are being developed that are very exciting. She says, stay tuned. So, stay tuned. Dixie also announced this morning that the company just signed a two-year deal with Challenge TV in the UK. So you'll be able to get to see it over there. And I think they do fairly good in the UK. So, uh, uh, it's expensive to go over there, but uh, might be worth it. All right, this is kind of strange. 70s, or rather, uh, probably in the 80s more, uh, 80s wrestler, pretty boy Doug Summers. Do you remember him? Hang on a second. All right, I'm back. Let's get this finished up. 80s wrestler, pretty boy Doug Summers, if you remember him. He's filed a lawsuit against the WWE and the McMahons over claims that he's owed royalties for WWE using his name and likeness. Now, I don't know whether that's the first time, you know, somebody's come up with that, but uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. Because Summers' suit says, uh, names WWE DVD on Shawn Michaels' career and the greatest cage matches of all time. So Summers says uh, WWE failed to contact him and ask permission to use his name, likeness, and uh, never made any attempt to compensate him. Lawsuit states that Summers' health is suffering from his uh, pro wrestling career, and he claims that to have more, uh, suffered more than 400 concussions, broken bones, inoperable injuries to his neck, foot, back, knee. Uh, is there anything else left? Summers uh, and his partner, Playboy Buddy Rose, have uh, their feuds with uh, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty from the AWA promotion, featured on several DVDs of, uh, that WWE has, and WWE Classics On Demand. So we'll see how that works out. That's kind of interesting because WWE, as far as I know, don't, uh, they've copied, well, I don't know how they did back then, but they uh, uh, bought the libraries from AWA. Now, whether AWA had an agreement with uh, those people, you know, uh, 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 where they relinquished their name, images, and stuff, I'm not sure how AWA did it back then, but uh, never know. Could have some sort of a, a compensation coming. Of course, he may have had too many concussions also. 
Anyway, WWE, uh, they got a uh, video of the big show <clears throat> uh, choke slamming Trace Atkins on uh, the internet. Anyway, uh, big show goes up Trace Atkins. Trace is at, I think it's the country, American Country Awards, I guess, uh, is on the net. And Trace is bitching about, he don't want to say this certain thing, you know, nobody's going to make him, he don't like the producer and all this stuff. So nobody's here to make me, and big show comes up behind him and says, I'll make it. So he grabs uh, Trace by the neck and throws him through a table and uh, took the bump good. Atkins is a pretty good sized boy too. Anyway, it's on an app. Want to look it up? Matches uh, for nice T TNA Impact includes Abyss taking on Samoa Joe, uh, Mickey James taking on Madison Reigns, Gunner taking on Garrett Bischoff, uh, Tracy Brooks taking on Gail Kim, and in the main event, main attraction is going to be Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles taking on Bobby Roode, Jeff Jarrett. TNA's Bound for Glory pay-per-view from Philadelphia this year drew 3,585 fans for a gate of 145,000. And I kind of did my math on there, and I think it came out to about uh, $41 or 40-something dollars each that a fan paid. Not sure how their expensive seats versus the small ones go. Anyways, estimated TNA's Turning Point pay-per-view did uh, about 9,000 pay-per-view buys, about the same as uh, most of the other low-end events. Uh, so they, 9,000 buys, probably might be all right for them, but uh, never be satisfied, TNA. Matches for today's uh, WWE Superstars on WWE.com include Trent Beretta taking on Jack Swagger, Dyson Kidd taking on uh, Justin Gabriel, Mason Ryan taking on Drew McIntyre, Epco taking on Evan Bourne, he's back. The November 7th Raw Super Show from London had 448,000 homes watching on DVR or tape delay, meaning about 13% of the viewers didn't watch it live. We like the scan. Sorry. Uh, advertisers. The November 4th Raw with The Rock set all-time record for delayed viewing for Raw, which was 488,000 homes, which was 12% of the total viewers. And the percentage of this number is down because there was more overall viewers live for the November 14th Raw. Here I go again. Hang on a second. Let's try this again. WWE referee Mark Harris is out of action with a broken nose. Don't know where he put that at, but it was wrong place. WWE diva Kelly Kelly has been trying to get herself out of new projects such as, or get herself out there for new projects as modeling and acting as of uh, late in 2012. Uh, the Raw live event November 30th, Yokohama, Japan drew 5,000 fans for $600,000 gate. I uh, don't know whether that's yen, or it says dollar sign, so I'm not sure how much they pay for events there, but December 1st show in uh, Yokohama did uh, 6,000 fans, $700,000 uh, gate, and Raw live event December 3rd, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, drew 3,000 fans, $90,000. Let's go back to Japan. SmackDown live event in December in Chattanooga, Tennessee, did about 4,500 fans, $120,000. December 3rd, Augusta, Florida. 4,000 fans, $115,000 gate, and the next night Columbus, Georgia did 38,000, uh, rather 3,800 fans, I don't know if I said, yeah, 3,800 fans, for a $106,000 gate. Nothing uh, has been confirmed yet, but the latest talk on the uh, pay-per-views airing on the WWE Network is the WrestleMania, Royal Rumbles, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, and maybe one other event will be kept on pay-per-view while the remaining event, uh, you know, pay-per-views will be shown on the network. Uh, also, because of a WWE Network won't be available for at the at first anyway for the majority of the homes, it's possible WWE is still working uh, offers the events to uh, purchase on a regular pay-per-view. So they're going to be doing both, you know, pay-per-view and on their uh, network if you can't get it. Former WWE talent Jacques Rousseau released his autobiography uh, online Thursday. Uh, Les Secrets, Les Ver... Uh, I have some French words here. I don't know anything about that. Anyway, the book, which is written in French, hits stores in Canada next week. Please, make it in English. During this week's uh, episode of NXT, the newly released commercial promoting the WWE Network was slightly different than the one that aired on Monday's Raw Super Show. 
when WWE legend house uh, is lighted, the WWE Hall of Famer Iron Sheik is shown. <laughs> I hope he's going to be in the legend house. I, I don't know where that's, how much that's going to be edited, but they're going to have to watch his language bad. Uh, Ultimate Warrior announced Friday, um, Wednesday on Twitter, uh, coming soon, it says, your chance to get a personalized video from Mr. Warrior or a personalized promo from Ultimate Warrior. <coughs> Team Warrior, he says. <coughs> what I got there? Let me turn that off. Eve Torres, Rosa Mendez uh, stated on Twitter that they're going to be on hand for WWE's annual tribute to the Droops event, which takes place Friday through Sunday uh, in uh, North Carolina. Tribute to the Troops taping will be held on uh, Sunday at Crown Coliseum Fayetteville. <clears throat> former WWE performer Dave Batista is scheduled for inter, uh, international sexology Dr. Susan Block show, a radio show, Dr. Susan Block show this Saturday night. Uh, he will be joined by adult film star, motorcyclist, uh, stunt driver, Destiny Dixon, Playboy Cyber Girl, Angela Summers, uh, Penthouse, uh, Danny Girl, Samantha Saint, and uh, adult star Victoria White and webcam girl Daisy Delight. The show is going to be airing from 10, 10 p.m. to midnight. Uh, Radio Susie One, uh, it's on a, a website too. I'm not familiar with Dr. Susan Block radio shows, so you might want well to fill me in if you guys know anything about it. Spike TV will be airing WWE film The Marine 2 Saturday, January se uh, 7th, if you haven't seen it. Uh, direct to DVD movie features, of course, Ted DiBiase, Sergeant Joe Linwood, a Marine Force Recon Sniper. And there's lots of jokes going around WWE lately regarding people that Triple H has hired. One joke is that he surrounds himself with jacked up meatheads, but then uh, at least he's uh, getting fresh training partners. <laughs> Alex Riley, by the, by, the, by the way, is reportedly in the doghouse with WWE officials. Didn't say why in the doghouse. An interesting story regarding, uh, regarding Broilus Clay is when he finished shooting the movie for WWE Studios earlier this year, was asked what WWE Creative had in, pl had in uh, plan for him. He said officials said they had no idea and suggested he comes up with his own idea himself. Broilus came up with the idea of being a monster heel that doesn't sell for baby cakes. Uh, ba baby cakes. Baby fake. I think she was going to be on that... Uh, reality show, or that radio show. Anyway, doesn't sell for the baby faces. Dan beats them up and inducts them into his personal house of pain. Somebody ripped off somebody. Similar to the world heavyweight champion Mark Henry. Brodus uh, reportedly was told that it was a great idea. And McMahon, by the way, was shooting down almost every idea brought up by the writers relating to Mick Foley. The Christmas stuff, Foley as Santa Claus was pushed through by Brian Gerwitz. And McMahon ordered the uh, Bella Twins to be uh, made a priority. As far as having more TV time, being featured on more things, not necessarily uh, when it comes to winning matches. And Vince feels that the Bellas have strong public relations value since they're twins and uh, he lectured the WWE writing team recently about how they've blown so many easy storylines with the twins angle. So there. Hey, I better get off here. I'm about ready to run out of time. I got some more news, but I'll save it for tomorrow. Thank you guys for clicking. I gotta go.